Hi, everybody. In this week's parasha of Shlach Lecha, the Torah describes a sin so grievous, so serious, that Hashem could not find within His merciful and compassionate nature the ability to extend forgiveness to the people for their sin. I'm talking, of course, about the sin of the Miraglim, the spies, who upon their return from Israel tell a story so disparaging, so frightening, that the Jewish people prefer to remain in the desert than to cross over and to conquer and inhabit the land of Israel. For this, the Torah tells us, the punishment was all over the age of 20 were to die in the desert and never see the land of Israel. But what about this sin made it so unforgivable, more than any other sin in the desert, which Hashem was able to find within himself the ability to forgive? Rabbi Yitzchak Elchanan, specter of Kovno, states, states that there really are three categories of mitzvot which Hashem gives us. Those mitzvot which govern our relationship between man and man, those mitzvot which govern the relationship between man and God, and a third and new category, states Rabbi Yitzchak Elchanan, is those mitzvot which govern the relationship between man and his people. And says Rav Yitzchak Kilchanan, that third category can never be forgiven if violated. Meaning, if a person turns his back on his nation, his people, his nation's destiny, that sin is so grievous that God can't forgive it. The other two, maybe God can, but not that. And when the Jewish people of that generation turn their back against the future of the Jewish people by refusing to embrace the next step, that was the skin was unforgivable. We all have within ourselves the ability to bind ourselves to our people and to push ourselves forward with strength, conviction, and faith. That's what we can do. It's a Torah thought. It only takes a moment. Shabbat shalom, everybody.